Hi everyone, it's Haley, Derby City Naturals, back again with a product review. Today I'm going to be reviewing, um, it's going to be a two-in-one, Afroveda products. This one is the Pure Ripped Hair Jelly, and this one is the Curl in Define. Okay, so I got both of these um, products from Naturally, which is a store, a natural hair store in St. Louis, Missouri. Shout out to Lolly, that's my girl. Yes, I got these from her store and just decided to try them. Um, I think I've tried now a couple of Afroveda products. Um, my favorite one was that Coca Latte, which I really did like. I wasn't too hot on the price, but if it's on sale, I would totally grab that. These products I found to be very similar, honestly, in my opinion. They're similar in ingredients, and they were also similar in texture and consistency. Um, I'm only going to show you the Pure Whip Jelly because the Curl and Define is actually gone. So, <clears throat> first five ingredients, aloe vera, whole leaf gel, Ayurvedic botanicals of some crazy herbs I can't pronounce, Amla, Brahimi, blah, blah, neem, nettle, some castor oil, almond oil, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's herbs, it's aloe vera gel, and it's oils. That's this one. Um, and it says how to use. Best use on clean web hair to help define curls, and this is what it looks like. Okay, so sort of a very thick, um, not very thick, it's a cream, but thick enough that it's not just going to immediately fall off my finger or anything. Smells nice. It smells, um... I don't know. It's, it's not baby powder, but it reminds me of a baby scent, so go figure that one. The Curl Define here, I can't show it to you because it's all gone. However, it was a little bit thicker, I can say that. The first five being aloe vera, leaf juice, uh, rice milk, purified water, jojoba oil, coconut oil, uh, almond oil, blah, 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 Ayurvedic herbs, blah, blah, more oils, some xanthan gum, which is a thickener, and, you know, love, because all products have love in them. <laughs> okay, so, oh, it says uh, to use uh, this hair butter, to use, hair butters are used to infuse intense moisture into the hair, use nightly on the ends of dry hair, by melting it in the palm of your hand and applying it to the hair, blah, 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 okay, so, um, I used these products a couple of different ways, uh, the first thing I did is, I did try to use this um, as a wash and go styler, that was a fail. Thank you. The end. Yeah, as a wash and go styler, it wasn't any good. As a twisting cream or braiding cream and the like, it worked fine. It worked like, you know, almost every other braiding cream. Honestly, to make a bad twisting cream, I think you have to try. Because most of them work really well. When it comes down to the twisting creams for me, it's it really comes down to two things, or three things. Availability of the product, price, and smell. Because for me, I can use them all interchangeably. I can get a really good twist out using plain aloe vera gel and some type of raw butter. So honestly, I don't need a twisting cream. But if you're going to make it smell nice and fancy, then hey, I'm there for you. So um, I did a section as a wash and go. It did not work. It just looked like I put cream in my hair. It did not define my curls, anything like I that. I know for my hair that there is no cream and in invention that's going to define it. That's just not how my hair works. My hair likes gels, jelly gels, and it'll get all curls popping, y'all. Um, but for creams, eh, no moisturizer. But they will not define my um, hair. As for the products, I thought they were okay. They were not great. They weren't brilliant. They were just okay. They're twist cream and a butter. I mean, it performed just as well as any other twist cream or butter. Uh, you know, for twist creams and butters, in my opinion, they really get a pass or a fail. There's no great, better, or whatever. There's really just pass or fail. Either it works well or it does not. Because like I said, in my opinion, you have to try hard to mess it up. So as long as it doesn't stink, and <laughs> as long as it keeps my hair soft and moisturized, then it works. Then yay, you pass. So um, I don't think these products were outstanding in and of itself. But like I said, I I wouldn't find um, I don't find really any twist creams outstanding in and of itself. Where I'm disappointed in, in this product in particular, which is the Pure Ripped Hair Jelly, is that it says it can be used as a wash and go. And for me, that was a fail. So I am tempted to grade it harshly for that. However. 
There has been no cream ever that has ever said, hey, use this as a wash and go where I got wash and go hair. Just never. So really can't hold that against the product itself because I know it's just not going to work for me. The marketing, advertising bothers me a little bit, but you know what? Maybe somebody else can. So I'm not going to totally shade them. Just a slight shade. Okay. Uh, however, if um, Aphrodite was having a sale and I would definitely go get that cocoa latte and if it was the type of sale where it's like hey spend $40 and get free shipping I would add these products onto my order to get free shipping absolutely I would hi guys They're I'm good back and I'm just gonna do a small epilogue to my Afroveda review this is the very last Afroveda product that I purchased so it's the last one to review and I never planned on reviewing it well why is that I didn't like the product and I didn't even try it let me explain this is the Aphroveda Hemp Seed Lock Twist and Roll Butter. So I opened the product and I smelled it and I find that smell nauseating. It's a personal thing. It's not an outright like stinky smell. It doesn't smell like trash or garbage or anything like that. But just the way it smells is not agreeable with me. If you're a woman and you've ever been pregnant and you know just certain things are just like, oh, oh my God, that's how this smells to me. I can't get past it. This product has um, mango seed butter and neem in it. Mango seed butter by itself, I found it really iffy. Sometimes it's in products and it doesn't bother me. Other times it's in it and I cannot take that smell. And the same way with neem. If you've ever smelled neem, neem stinks, y'all. It really does. It works as a natural insect repellent and it's great, but it stinks. And I have dealt with a couple products that had a combination of mango seed butter and neem together. And those two smells together, I find nauseating. So I can't even use them. Like putting it in my hair even, even doing one twist, I can smell it. It bothers me. I'm washing my hair immediately. So I've never even used it. Here it is. So I will just give you, this one is a very, very dense thick 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 butter um if you've ever made your own whipped shea butter very similar to that the first ingredients in this are shea and uh, mango butter and then it has all, all the ayurvedic herbs in it so um i can't give a true and honest review of this because i refuse to i just refuse to use it i just won't i love you guys i love you as my subbies but I cannot and will not put myself through that. I cannot take this smell. It's gross. And as soon as I'm done with this, I am washing my hands. It stinks. So um, with the hemp seed butter, there's no review. I'm not going to review it. I will give it away, you know, like I said, at a meetup or something like that. But I will never use this. I originally bought it uh, to twist my son's hair with. JK has locks. And I, you know, whenever I see products that are geared toward locks, I will pick them up. Because uh, we're still kind of experimenting. But I've pretty much found what works well for his hair. I know now that I wouldn't use this product in his hair because it's too buttery. His hair, and when using butters, it, it, they'll build up. Butters build up anyway, but in my son's hair, it's like mine. It's not very, very porous, and that butter just tends to sit there, and he's a little boy, so he already gets lint, dog hair, dust, sawdust, leaves, twigs in his hair. He doesn't need any help with something attracting it to his hair. So I wouldn't use it for that. These are my opinions. This butter, if you're a person who twists with butter, is fine. Give it a shot. Check it out. Um, it also, I think, worked very well as a sealant on your twists and braids if you wanted to do that. Um, doing a wash and go after your hair dries, you want to scrunch out the crunch. Use this, fine, but you have to like the smell. And I cannot, I do not, So that's I the conclusion of the four Aphrodite products I've ever used. I used the Chocolate Latte, which I thought was great. I used the Pure Whipped Hair Jelly, which I thought was, it, it was good, it was okay. Um, the Curl Define, which was good. The Hemp Seed, which I'll never use again. So, those are my reviews of Aphroveda. If I pick something else up from the company, like I said, um, I would be tempted if they're having a sale to throw some extra things in my cart and give them a shout out. Um, these products are also available here locally. If you're in Louisville, Kentucky, you can check out Go Natural Hair and Body Boutique, and they, they carry their products as well. So if they're having a sale as well, I'd go over and scoop them up. So those are my opinions. That's what Haley says. Check it out. Bye-bye.